In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get tons of event wins in Arm Wrestle Simulator. So inside the brand new update, they added a brand new world which does have a brand new win system. And yeah, the wins in this world are called event wins and they are completely different from the actual wins in the normal game. And yeah, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can get tons of them. So yeah, make sure you guys watch the entire video so you guys can see everything. So yeah, let's get into it right now. So yeah, I've been grinding the update for a couple hours. I've accumulated all the way up to 52.7 QI shrink, which is not that bad. And yeah, not gonna lie, when the update did start out, it was definitely super slow, but they went ahead and made it so now your arms go ahead and apply it in this world. Because before, your arms actually did not do anything inside of the world, but now they made it before, or they made it in the game. But yeah, if they did not add the arms in the game, I would have 12.5 QI, which is not that bad, but since they did add the arms and they changed it, I now have 52, I think. So yeah, definitely a lot more helpful. But yeah, it's only been a couple hours after the update, and I'm pretty sure I have enough strength to go ahead and defeat the rest of the bosses. In the last video, I was only able to defeat the Hercules and Medusa, and as you can see, we can go ahead and defeat them really quick right now. There we go. And we do only get 4 wins, which is not that much at all, but yeah, here's the Medusa boss. We can go ahead and defeat this one also pretty easily as well. There we go. Then moving on to the last 3, we have Kratos right here, which is pretty cool, and I'm pretty sure we have enough to go ahead and defeat him, and yeah, there we go. And then onto the last two bosses, we have the Poseidon boss right here, which is also from the Atlantis world. Which is kind of interesting, it's the same boss, but there we go, and we got 60,000 wins. And here is the final boss right here, the Zeus boss, and we should be able to just barely beat him. And yeah, there we go, we're able to defeat him a lot quicker than I honestly thought, and we got 1.4 million wins. So yeah, that's definitely pretty insane. And yeah, for the best egg in the game, it does cost 3.5 million wins. And also, I just realized they changed the percentage of both of these pets as well. It's actually not that bad. So yeah, I think I'm going to definitely grind. And I think I should be able to get these new pets. And they will be super, super strong. And yeah, I'm sure as the update goes on, I'll be able to defeat the bosses a lot faster. And get a lot more wins very quickly. But yeah, if you guys did not know, they actually made it so the winner winner pets actually do not have any influence on how many wins you get, I'm pretty sure. I can go ahead and check again, but unless they fixed it, let me go ahead and equip my winner winner team. And yeah, let's go ahead and defeat the boss, and let's see if we get any more. I'm pretty sure we don't, but we can go ahead and see right now. And yeah, we did not get any more wins, unfortunately. So hopefully they go ahead and change it so winner winner pets will actually give you more wins. But yeah, there we go. We got a decent amount of wins. We can go ahead and equip our best team back. And we can go ahead and open up a couple of these eggs. And yeah, they made these so much rarer, as I said a second ago. Or so much more common, I mean, because they were used to be so much rarer. But yeah, we can go ahead and open up like two of these. So there we go. We got the Hermes, not bad. And for the second one, we also got our Hermes. Alright, so how good are these things? Alright, 2,800 and 4,200. Alrighty. That is actually extremely underwhelming. I thought they were going to be significantly stronger. So yeah, definitely pretty unfortunate. I guess I don't need any of those. But yeah, I'm also not sure what like the key drop chance is inside of this world as well. It's probably similar to World 5, I'm not completely sure. But yeah, not gonna lie, I'm probably one of the very first people to go ahead and defeat this boss. And yeah, it's only been like 4 hours after the update, but by the time you guys see this video, it'll be much after that. But yeah, they also have the event shop over here, which you can go ahead and purchase the Zeus, which is inside of that egg. However, they do want to charge you 9,000 tickets to go ahead and purchase it. And yeah, that's definitely pretty ridiculous. But yeah, honestly, I don't really want to buy any of these. However, the shop does refresh in 5 hours currently. And I'm not sure what else it'll have. Maybe it'll have new pets or new boosts or something you can go ahead and purchase. So yeah, hopefully these shops in the future are definitely better. But yeah, while I was grinding, I was also using the time boost right here. Which gives me a 120% boost as well as the 2 times strength weekend, which does help out a lot. And then I also did have a 60% friends boost currently, but it was a little bit higher. So yeah, not bad. And it also seems like they did change the leaderboards as well. They actually made the pets significantly stronger as you can see. I'm pretty sure this is the Poseidon one in Huge and Ghost, and it's a 4.4 million stat pet if you go ahead and get it, and only one person gets it. And even if you get 2 through 10, you still get some pretty decent rewards, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it has not updated, because if it did, I would definitely be like all the way up here. I would currently be in spot number 7 if it was actually updated, but yeah, I guess it's not currently. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna continue to grind, and hopefully I should be able to at least be on the leaderboard, and I think I can do it. As long as the leaderboard actually accurately updates, because I'm not even on here, I have no clue why. Or actually, I'm 19th right here on the daily top 100 Knuckles, which is definitely not bad, but for some reason, it must have just not updated on here, I don't know why. Because I literally have way more wins than everybody on this leaderboard, and I have no clue why I'm not up here. But yeah, I do want to keep auto-fighting the boss, however, I do want to get a lot more strength before I'm able to fight him really quickly. 
because I can beat him right now, but it's not super fast. So I want to be able to beat him like instantly every time. And then, then I'll be able to get on the leaderboards. But yeah, if you guys did not know, Knuckles are currently the best thing to train by far. And yeah, I'm able to get so much Knuckles strength because they actually did change the Knuckles on the VIP bag as well. As you can see, now it actually does three times as much because before I think it was doing 700 and this one did 650. So yeah, now they made it accurately do three times more. And yeah, even without it, the, even the previous knuckle bag is still even better than doing the hand strength or the bicep, I believe. So yeah, still not bad, but if you have VIP, this is by far the most superior thing. But yeah, I'm pretty sure every pen side of that egg is actually the exclusive variant, which I believe is brand new. And yeah, since I did open up the egg, I do now have an exclusive pet. However, I'm not sure if it's really worth anything more. But yeah, I guess so kind of cool. And I'm definitely going to try and grind and get those Zeus pets because I think they made them a little bit too common. But yeah, I will definitely not complain if I'm able to get one. But yeah, honestly, what I definitely suggest you guys do is before fighting any of the bosses, I definitely suggest you guys try and get to Dino World and get some pretty good pets to help you out. And once you do that, you'll be able to grind inside this world somewhat efficiently. And yeah, I definitely do not suggest grinding any of these bosses if you want to actually get event wins. The only ones worth grinding is probably the Zeus boss. Because all of these eggs don't even give very good pets unless you're able to get super lucky. And the only one that's actually worth opening is the best egg in the game. But yeah, it's also super important to make sure you guys have the 2 times wins boost if you guys can get it because you get twice as amount of wins. Which is definitely very helpful and also by having the 2 times wins boost enabled as well, you get even more wins. That's because whenever above the boss, it does say 350,000 but whenever I beat it and because I have the game pass and the boost, I get 1.4 million. And yeah, I'm kind of curious, I think I'm going to take one for the team right here, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this boost right here. Let's say 2 times wins, I'm curious if it actually is a different boost than this one. Or if it just adds on, so let me go ahead and purchase it, and I'm pretty sure it just added on, unfortunately. I thought it may have been a completely different boost, where maybe I could be able to get 8 times wins, I would have no clue, but I guess, yeah, that is not the case. But yeah, they definitely need to make some better deals in here, considering I just spent 500 tickets for only 15 minutes of boost. Which, if you guys do not know, that's honestly a super big amount of ticket price for such little amount of boost. But yeah, honestly, there's not really a huge point in having tickets or even spending them on the shop currently. So hopefully in the next shop, maybe there is some better things. But yeah, so far, it does not seem like it. But yeah, I think it'll definitely be possible for me to be able to get the Poseidon and either the Zeus pet. As long as the chances stay at the same, because I think I'll be able to beat this boss enough where I can go ahead and auto-open it. And yeah, not gonna lie, it might be kind of difficult, it might be pretty hard to get wins, but I think I'll be able to pull it off. But yeah, not gonna lie, I definitely regret not getting as many huge super sharks as I could have. Because literally all I had to do was stay in the game and grind some knuckle strength. And I could have gotten a bunch of best friend 6 pence, but unfortunately I did not take advantage of it. But yeah, I literally have so many best friend 5 lava dragons right here. As you can see, I literally have so many. And yeah, I think I'm going to try and possibly trade these and maybe get some best friend 6s if I can. That would be pretty helpful. But yeah, I think people are also saying they did change the trails to be a lot weaker. I'm pretty sure they were at like 150%, but I'm pretty sure they changed it back to 250. I think this was what it was at before. I'm not completely sure, but I do believe this is what it was at. And yeah, one final thing if you guys did not realize, inside of the free UGC, it does say more UGC stock coming next week. So it seems like we're going to be getting more UGCs you guys can go ahead and use in the game coming very soon as well. But yeah, that pretty much is everything for the video. Unfortunately, you guys cannot use any winner winner pets like I mentioned. So if any devs are watching this and want to fix that, I would highly appreciate it and probably a lot of the community would as well. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 100k subs. I really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. And yeah, thank you boys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.